my guys' Dora project and let's learn how to play Minesweeper. And I think we should go to the... I made a really crappy video, a really crappy version of this video, but I decided... that I mean, that was just for uh, my friends. I thought I'll do an actual video to teach you this. So currently, we are... Uh, it seems we're stuck here. There's nothing else we can really do. But we are going to find out the probability of... Uh, each of these squares and which square do uh, I want to click? All right, so uh, let's move to uh, move to MS Paint here. Okay, there we go. Now let's start with uh, so I got this uh, this square here. All these uh, I just do whatever I want with these and just just color all over them here. Ah. <laughs> anyway, so let's move to here. This is what I want to look at. So first, what you want to look at here is how do each of these connect these uh, this number four here shows that it has four uh, mines around it as we saw last episode we know how to play minesweeper now <laughs> a little bit most of it this is uh, really advanced stuff it's very complicated I, but uh, so you know that where the three of them are but you know you don't know where one of them is you know it's in one of these two so I put a blue uh, line among these two I did the same with this these two I think I'll use a better pointer than that. This is a look at that pointer. Yeah, so among uh, these two, there's one mine among these two. So since there's a uh, two among these five, you know that there's one already here. So there's another one among these three. So I made a line across that two here, and uh, for this two, you know there's one among these four, and then you know there's one among these three. We know nothing about this one, and the one above it going up here this one because uh, those two are numbers that are not uh, are not adjacent to any numbers so what we gotta start with is divide these squares into groups so the first group that would be very easy to divide into is the groups is the squares that are not adjacent to any numbers this one is not adjacent to any numbers this one is not adjacent to any numbers let me get my water bottle after that hmm yeah, water. Um, <clears throat> so the so after that, now we need to divide uh, the rest of the squares into uh, different different uh, another different groups, or it'll be one or two groups possibly, or five. Uh, so let's start with uh, what we see here. This one is kind of independent by itself. There, it does not uh, connect to any other lines or anything. But these, all of these, these are all connected to each other. So you can't divide these by anything else. They're all just connected. Like even if this, uh, even if this, these two lines don't connect, like visually, but you know that it used the same squares and all that. So let's zoom out a bit, a bit more. There we go. And here it is, the three groups I divide them into. So first of all, I, uh, what you want to do is you want to take these groups all and just just copy paste them like this. Uh, the number of times you want to copy paste, you can just find out by. For example, you can see here, this this number, the number two has one mine and another mine here. It basically is telling you there's one mine among these four. That's the largest number among here. There's a. This number says there's one among these three, but. Uh, so four possibilities is the largest you got here. Uh, there's a bit more complex. Uh, possibility things but we'll get that later so so I just divided into four and I showed every single possible uh, possibility there and uh, that accounts for all the other possibilities in this in these squares too because they're all connected they all uh, they all just kind of match up if they don't then you're gonna have to separate them into more groups and but we'll get to that later that's <laughs> complicated next uh, I mean this one's pretty obvious one here one here one here uh, obviously if you don't know red is there's a mine in the red ones. There's no mines in the green ones. So, so if I put decide to say there's a, if there's a red in this one, and that means there's none in the rest, of course. So uh, sorry about that email thing. <laughs> so there's one mine here, one mine here. So that makes uh, that makes this uh, complete. So you just and here there's only this part that could be a mine since the rest of them are all uh, cleared up. Same with this. This is cleared up because this is a red uh, here. This is the only thing. That could be a mine, and it needs one mine. So, uh, 
and you just do the same for the rest. I mean, it's, it's that's ba very basic. Once you do that, now uh, what I didn't, uh, what I forgot to tell you is there's a. Uh, we have five mines total, five mines total. So uh, with this, we know there's three or f uh, f four mines, three or four mines among these, and uh, and there's one more mine in in the, this part. So we have four or five mines. So we can't be sure that these two are. Uh, our mines or not. I mean, that would have been very easy right there. Just uh, We just go ahead and click those. But, uh, and I still have this thing right here, so we're going to test this out. So, uh, next to this thing is about Pascal's Triangle, but it's, uh, we don't really need we don't really need Pascal's Triangle here. It's pretty basic. If there's no mines, then there's only zero possibilities. If there's one mine, then there's two possibilities. Either there is I'm going to take this out here. Either there's a mine here and there's no mine here, or there's a mine here and there's no mines here. So that's the two possibilities you need to account for, uh, two combinations. So I'm going to write that down here. So the one with uh, four mines, oops, here, let me change the color, would have uh, only one combination for the, for the rest of the board. Of course, uh, there's the three among uh, here, but this doesn't affect anything. The, the second group, so we don't even need to account for that because it's the same. It's identical among all four uh, groups here. Uh, the next one has one. The next one has two, and the next one has two. Right. Now I'll get back to my pointer, which is green now. There we go. It's white now. Uh, if you see uh, here, so so I mean, if, if you understand why there's two here, that's because uh, these these are. It means these are more likely to happen among uh, twice as more likely, in fact, than the top one, top two, because they have uh, two more combinations. It's the assumption that the computer generates like a there's an equal amount of chance of all squares being generated in some way. So anyway, we got how often these uh, patterns would occur among these things. All right, so basically, just take these numbers. All right. And I'm gonna type out each uh, what how much possibility each square has. So what about this one? Uh, the possibility of there being a, there being a mine in each one. So this one has a very high chance of having a mine since uh, one two three four five out of one two three four five six. So uh, I guess I'll write that five out of six. Oh yeah, we should start with uh, these first, I suppose. They're the easiest one we should go through. Obviously, they're uh, 1 over 3. 1 over 3, and I have to keep moving this. There we go. And 1 over 3. Alright, what about the next one? It's going to have a... Uh... Yeah, so 1 out of 3 chance of being a mine. This one would have, looking up here, 1 out of 6. Things will be tedious, but uh, oh, we'll go through it very quickly. This, this one would have five out of six. Next one would have one out of six, and the next ones would have. All right, this one would have one out of six. Next one would have. Uh, one out of three, since it's uh, two out of six right here. Uh, same with the next one would be uh, one out of three or two out of six. And this next one, and this one's different. Uh, this one's different. Uh, no, it's the same. It's one out of three. Hmm. All right. And uh, for these two, I guess that's a bit different. Uh, this one would have uh, what chance? One. There'd be zero here, it'd be zero here, there's one here, one here, so guess that'd be one out of three also. And that that would go to the same for this one. There we go. So we have the would have the least amount of chance. I guess all these uh pretty similar in the what chance they would have. Uh so we have three of them. Three possible places we can uh here, uh three possible places we could uh, choose this one well okay four one two three four uh... hmm 
one should I choose? Which one should I choose? Hmm. Well, 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 I guess I will... <laughs> I don't know. Basically, I'm just going to just pick one, whatever it comes to. Uh, I think you want to choose the one with the... Uh, which that have the most likely chance of giving you a hint. And uh, all these give you at least a, a certain amount. Hmm. I, I guess that's uh, that's another problem. That's uh, I don't know what they would uh, what I would get out of this each of these. That one I would have to solve later. But uh, maybe you can try right now. Here, this one could give you a. Uh, let's see. All all three of these could be mines. No, not really. But this one could be. So it could be one, or it could be two. Hmm. The number one or number two could appear here, and I wouldn't uh, take both of those possibilities at the same amount, since uh, the possibility of this one being a mine would be one out of three, so one out, two out of three, this would have a, just a one, and then you just clear everything out here. <laughs> I'm just making this over, overly complicated. I, we just got what we want, let's just go ahead. I think I'm just going to lose here. Yep, I lost. <laughs> Well, that was uh, that was that was great. Well, all right, this is the art project. I'm just gonna give up my sweeper forever.